Okay, I'm back. It's 10 after 3 in the afternoon, and I, uh, the weather instant guy is saying that the storms are getting organized, and they're just west of here, up uh, a new little place called Robertsville. I know the area very well. I go back roads with my ATV up there. So something's headed this way. They're saying it's getting organized, but they expected this. They were saying that we had another line that was getting organized, and they, they said to all, like in the last couple of hours that this was going to happen. Yeah, we are uh, definitely got something on the go here. I'm going to take a walk out to the road if I can. I've got my flip-flops on, and I don't want to get all dirty. Yeah, it's all muddy. <laughs> Boy, that's some noise I'm hearing, but that's a jet. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, my mailman showed up. Isn't that something? Well, uh, there hasn't been a tornado yet, but uh, start the wind is starting to pick up again. I don't know if you can hear that. So this way there, if I'm pointing my the camera this way, that's kind of which way Robertsville is. But the wind is actually coming in from the east, which is really bad. Um, <laughs> all kinds of advertising. I don't know why I keep getting these warnings about my address change. I can't help what other people do, for cripe's sakes. Anyways, uh, see what's going on up here. Not really seeing anything, but it, uh, they're coming in from the east, which usually is a bad thing. In the winter, in particular, you know, the snow is like twice as much. But anytime storms come from the east, it's not a good thing. So at least here, I don't know about other places, but up here in this part of Canada. So, uh, and the mosquitoes are suddenly deciding they're finding me. I parked the truck a little bit per back because usually I park between these two trees here. But in case, you know, <laughs> I give my truck at least half a chance. So, all right, the wind's settling down. Tent's holding up still. Camp is still, you know, nothing's hit us hard here yet, but it's coming. It's, uh, we're not out of this by any stretch. Not even close. So I'm just going to keep filming these and keep throwing them up. See, uh, well that's the crane's uh, manager truck. I wonder if they shut it, decide to shut it down for the day. Send the boys home. It's 3 o'clock anyway. Trucks, And it just so happens their big yard is not too far from where they were talking about these storms. Going to go back inside and keep a close eye on that uh, Insta channel. He says that some of this stuff is coming across the uh, border from, uh, well, there you go, Watertown, Brockville, all these places. So I've got him turned down, but <coughs> <coughs> what am I looking at here? It, it uh, oh, look at the, down near Athens, that's just south of here. That's really pink. But that's south of here, so that's, uh, but we're definitely getting in, uh, he hasn't said anything more about Robertsville. As soon as I heard that one, Robertsville, Tweed, that whole area, that's heading this way. But they said that we were going to have a second line of them, and, if they, and the radar has been telling me that all along. So... Yeah, he says that there's something going on near Leeds and Thousand Islands and Ivy Lee, so that's kind of uh, east of here, along the St. Lawrence. The village of Lynn near Brockville. Yeah, there's some things going on down there. Well, almost moved there at one time. Uh huh. Sneaky little storms, he says, right on. See, Athens is here, and that's Toledo, but if you keep going with my arrow, can you guys see my arrow going up there? That's me. 
Actually, I can give you a better idea with the proper weather map. As soon as I find it. WX Ontario just said, can't say for sure, but may have seen a very brief funnel cloud with the storm west of Mitchell. West of where? Mitchell? Never heard of it. Isn't half bad, she says. Okay. One and a half to two. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, see, there's those storms they were just talking about when I said east uh, west of here. So you've got Charbot Lake, McDonald's Corner, but here's the one that I think they're talking about. And that's headed directly here. Um, let's see where this is going to go here. Yeah, this uh, this may come right. Oh yeah. So we've got one directly headed here, and it looks like it's going to come in in about 15 minutes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll shut this down for the moment. Just hold up, and I'm going to need to pay attention to a couple of things, and uh, we'll see what happens. But. Uh, Renfrew is north of here. But, uh, uh, yeah, that's why we're under so a tornado watch. Water. Okay, I'm going to shut, Twitter. well, not shut him up, but just put it quiet. So that must be the ones they're talking about. Bon Echo's getting it right now. But that's all, poof, headed this way. That one looks like it might miss us, this one here. That's going to be at around 10 after 4. May miss us. Yeah, that's going to head towards Calabogi, which is just north of here. And that happens a lot. Um, what happens is, I uh, we live on a plateau here in Lanark Highlands, hence the name. So, um, so it's up high, and then as you go north of here, it starts to go down, and then south of here. So the storms will either track right over top of us, and then they're usually really bad, or... One part of the storm, like if it's a big long one like that, part of it will track above us and then below us, you know, like the Perth and south of here, Westport, going back south. So this may be what's happening now. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. When you're living on this plateau like we live on, you can't predict it. It's just you never know. So this is why I always tell my neighbors and stuff, eyes on the skies, because this is not you know, predictable. And it's like this year round, the snowstorms are the same. They either miss us or they hammer the living piss out of us. So there's usually no in between. All right. I'll let this one go for now. And I will be back when I have something to talk about. Okay. See you guys soon. <laughs> Lovely day on Monday the 27th here at Winterfell Camp. Woohoo!